Hi, welcome back. Today's project, you're going to need a piece of card, which is 11 by 7. And on the 11 side, we're going to score at 3.5, 5, 6, and 7.5. And that's the shape we're going to make. So it's just fold and burnishing these score lines. You're also going to need, a, if you're doing it my way, a second piece of card as well. And that's going to measure nine by seven, which is gonna go on the back so you get that shape. If you didn't want to, you could um, flatten it so that it folds over. Um, but I'm going to, and I've put the um, tape on the, the two big panels for connecting to that back piece of card. Now, this is the die set I've used, which is Crafter's Companion Garden Set. And I've just picked some elements out and made them up already. And uh, the oval set is a torn edged oval set by Daisy May. I've picked two out of that and um, I've made a frame using those two dies, which is that uh, frame there. And I've also cut the base piece of card with the decorative edge. So it just places the frame on top. I've cut out the number 70 and I did the sentiment on the computer. So these elements are uh, what have come out of the garden die set. I have cut them a few times with white card. I've cut the decorative silver piece out of mirror card and the coloured parts I've just coloured with alcohol markers. And I've kept the colours all tonal to each other. To do these panels, all I did was I've got two pieces of A4 card and then I scored them at a half an inch increments all the way along the A4 piece and then just cut them into the sizes I wanted to decorate my card. And I did that to, with two pieces of A4 because I needed um, the frame panel to go round the 70. Now, with this um, panel, I've just cut mine one eighth of an inch smaller than how we've scored these um, increments because I didn't want big gaps between mine. But obviously, if you want to make this, you just decorate it how you would like to. And to make the wood effect, I just swiped the dye ink straight over the card now I want to make a grounding for the plant pot so getting a hill mask or if you haven't got a hill mask you can just um, tear a piece of copier paper and do the same effect that way So I'm using the same colours I've used to do that wood effect on the wood grain. I think I'm going to darken it up a bit.
and that's much better. So then with the opposite panel, I'm going to go the opposite orientation. So I'm sloping towards the end of this one. So it's time just to glue everything on and I'm gluing everything on before I put these panels onto the um, card because I just think it might be easier to do it that way. I've had this die set quite a while and I've not used it. I never even cut it out when I'd bought it, so I didn't really know how they were going to make up, but I am so pleased how this has turned out. And this card, obviously it's a special card uh, for my husband in a couple of weeks' time. And um, I thought it deserved a box. And with that back piece that I'm attaching it to, um, I'm going to really do a lovely sentiment computer generated for the back. Just lining those two pieces of wood up it did take me quite a while to make these um, embellishments up each piece I did twice and then obviously there was the mirror card as well and the colouring. But they're so worth it. They're really sturdy pieces. The first boot I'm going to lie flat with glue. The second boot I'm going to elevate on one side with the, some foam squares. I also made up the wheelbarrow and uh, I used a plant die uh, set. I don't know who, who made it, just what I've got in my collection um, and popped a plant in as well. So gluing that on. Just positioning it so that I can get the um, sentiment still to be able to be seen. And popping this base card together. I 
I want to get this really clean and tidy corners and then everything will fall into place. Doing the other side. Then just giving it a burnish. It's time to glue all the panels on. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say if you would like to like and subscribe my tutorials, um, ring the notification bell, then you will be notified when I do put another tutorial on. And I'm so grateful for your support. Once these elements start to go on, it, the card is really sturdy. And just that one to do, but may, I'm mindful about the um, bottom of the card. Used a chrome pen as well for the wheel and um, the little side elements of the wood plank. And we're done. So bringing in my box. Thank you so much for watching.